Welcome back. The Yukon Huskies are still on the road to victory. And of course, just one win away now from winning back-to-back -back titles. Standing in their way, the Purdue Boilermakers. Yeah, the game starts just after 9 o'clock, and there's a watch party outside Gamble as well. Channel 3's Dylan Farron is live on campus as students are ready to party. Dylan. Oh, Mark, Irene, I'm so pumped. Championship Monday is always exciting, especially when UConn is playing. And Irene mentioned it, watch party inside Gamble tonight, but the doors don't open until 7.30. The game isn't until 9.20, and yet there are a few students here already lining up to get the best seat. You have the fencing here, the metal detectors, so the school's been preparing, but really they've been getting ready for potential celebrations tonight for the last couple of weeks. They removed all of the light posts last week. That's what all the orange cones here represent. They removed at least 10 of them around Gable to avoid any chaos, any students getting out of control, which, of course, we saw last year. 15 students arrested. Things just got totally out of control, taking the light posts out, breaking windows, damaging doors in school property. The school is hoping to avoid that this year by doing a few things. First off, not selling any alcohol inside Gable for the watch party tonight, removing the light posts, but also limited seating inside Gable, just 6,700 tickets. Gable fits about 10,200. So just the upper bowl, that's where everyone will be sitting tonight. The lower bowl on the floor, no one sitting there trying to avoid any court storming and any chaos if UConn wins the championship tonight. Took down a lot of the light posts, so I'm not really sure what else we could knock down at this point. I mean, it's going to be electric tonight. You saw how it went last year. We, we bring the energy. This is UConn, baby. I, I'm hoping everything stays calm, too. I think the university's messaging has been for the students to enjoy, but, you know, keep it together, and I think they will. Again, doors open here at Gamble at 7.30. The game's tipping off at 9.20. UConn hoping to go back-to-back -back for the first time since the Florida Gators did it in 2006 and 2007. But Mark and Irene, a fantastic statistic here. When UConn men make the national championship game, they win. They're 5-0 and in the title match, looking to go 6-0 and tonight. We're live in stores. I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right. Let's